what I am going to show you now will probably save you hours, uh, maybe even days of that work time. And it is something truly useful and very easy to use, as you will see soon. Now, here we have uh, a little project. A little project we have uh, is from one of my courses. It's listed below. It shows a couple of uh, applications or a couple of libraries implemented in Blaze and WPF and all these uh, other C Sharp interface uh, technologies. Now, what I want to show you right here is a lookup move event, uh, not an event, rather a method, okay, which is in the on click event. So I right click on that, I right click on that, and I go to definition, okay. I want to find this event, this method. I want to find it, look it up. So I go to definition. And it shows me that, okay? Now, in this case, uh, it was in the same file, so it doesn't really save me too much time. Having said that, if it was in a different file, somewhere in a different folder, you would spend minutes looking for it. This is a lot easier, a lot quicker. You know, if I get back to it, you can also just peek the definition, okay? We do peek, and it displays a new sort of a window and it shows you that. So if you just want to take a little peek, you can do that. Uh, you won't be uh, uh, sort of redirected to that uh, different uh, file, different page. And then you can just close it and move on with your work. Uh, just like that, okay? So we have that. And then if I go down here, and let's say I do uh, one of these uh, variables, right? One of these variables. Uh, uh, let's do this one, selected piece, okay? Let's do on this one. We have selected piece. I right click on it and I can now go to implementation. I will find the place where it was declared. Go to implementation and I find it. Okay, I find it. Now, if I want to check or find all the places where this was used, I will right click on it. Okay, I will right click on the declared variable. Okay, and I will find all references. Okay, all references. They will be displayed right here in the bottom. A little uh, sort of a search will be displayed. And you can see right here all the references. And I can click on them and it will sort of direct me to all uh, those different options. So again, this is the definition. This is how you find those uh, method definitions uh, quickly and also find uh, references to things quickly. This will save you a lot of time. One of the things you need to do in Visual Studio to be as efficient as possible is use environment variables and application arguments inside the Visual Studio rather than somewhere outside of it. Uh, this especially goes for the application arguments. If you are doing a console application, where you will require arguments on the launch of it, on the execution of the exe file, you will need to use these application arguments. It's a lot quicker to do it via Visual Studio rather than launch the application uh, through the command line and write it all yourself. It's absolutely pointless. Just do it through the Visual Studio. Now, you will find these arguments in the properties in the debug section, okay, application arguments right here, and you'll find environment variables below that. Environment variables are, are more suited, of course, for something that will be hosted in IIS manager, and uh, it's probably, it will be used anyway, so you have no escape from it, uh, but there is a uh, a different option to go with when it comes to application arguments, but I would say it's a lot quicker to just enter them here. Now, you can take a look at my video I recently made on how to actually use these arguments, how to uh, use these flags and find the values and things like that. But do remember to use application arguments and of course environment variables when it is suitable. <laughs> The third thing you need to know when using Visual Studio to be absolutely efficient is to use Visual Studio Spellchecker. 
okay? We use spell checkers everywhere, and we should use them in the development, okay? Now, you probably won't be able to correct, say, names for the methods or names for the variables. Uh, uh, that's not really what it, this is for, but if you do have values, and especially if you're building a web page or WPF interface, you must have this extension. It will save a lot of time, it will save a lot of trouble, and someone will not have to clean up after you. They will not have to spell check for you. You as a developer or any other developer in your team working with you will be able to do it yourself. And it will be a lot quicker. It will be a lot quicker for everyone else. So make everyone's life easier and get yourself the spell check. It will be better, more readable, and all that stuff. 